Did you know that the divorce rate in the United States for those on their third marriage is 73%? Well, we are going to get into Latoya Luckett's third marriage. She was the original member of Destiny Child from a licensed therapist's perspective. Hey, hey, everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hey, welcome. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for spinning the block and coming back. As a licensed marriage and family therapist, y'all have been in my DMs wanting me to talk about Latoya Luckett and her wedding and her new husband. Now, per usual, I wasn't gonna say anything because I follow her on social media and I've seen the wedding and her bridal party and her new husband. And I was like, okay, go off, sis. And then y'all were like, hold on, this is her third marriage. This is probably something that you should talk about. And then a light bulb went off in my head and I said, hmm, this is a conversation that we need to explore and talk about a little bit more. So before we get into it, please put in the comment section, let me know what you think about Latoya Luckett and the fact that she decided to get married for the third time. Now we often hear people say that the divorce rate in the United States is 50%. That's a little bit higher than what it really is. Statistics show that the first marriage <laughs> in regards to divorce is around 41%. The second marriage, as far as the divorce rate goes, is anywhere between 60 and 67%, but that third marriage, as far as the divorce rate goes, is very high. It is 73%. Now, I had to give y'all that stats and we had to start there because it's really important for us to see these numbers. Now, just because statistics and data is real, that doesn't mean that you, your relationship and your marriage is going to be a statistic. Some other interesting stats that I wanted to share with you is that men are more likely than women to remarry. And also the average person, man or woman, typically waits about three years after their divorce to remarry again. So with Latoya Luckett, we seen her marry Rob Hillman Sr., I believe his name was, all the way back in 2016. They dated for like a year-ish, if I'm not mistaken. They were married for about just a few months, like two, three, four months, and then they got divorced. And then Latoya Luckett remarried Tommy Walker back in 2021. She had two children with him, and their relationship and marriage lasted for about three and a half years. Now, one thing that I'm not going to do in this video is go into details about why their relationship ended. That isn't the point of this video. The point of this video is to share with you guys that just because you want to marry and remarry again, that doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. I gave y'all the stats. I gave y'all the information about the stats and the numbers and all of those things about marrying and remarrying. But I also feel like from a professional perspective that there's nothing wrong with desiring to remarry again. And if Latoya Luckett wants to remarry, I believe his name is Talio. Cool. Did I say it right? If I said it wrong, sorry. An entrepreneur out of Virginia, if she chooses to marry this man, who are we to sit up here and judge and say, oh no, you've been married too many times. You should call it quiz. Don't do it again, sis. Let it go. Stop trying. But I guess it's the hopeless romantic in me that desires people to have connection and to find true and real love. And if we're honest, how many of us will be called to the carpet if our relationships and our marriages were put on display. Some of y'all have been in multiple relationships that you shouldn't have been in, including marriages. And from my extensive work with working with couples and being in that space, I have seen people choose to marry the wrong person time and time again. For whatever reason, people just be all willy-nilly about who they marry and who they have children with, but they're not discerning enough to figure out if this person is someone that I want to be with for the rest of my life. Or it can start off really great and well, and then people change and shift and the lifestyle and the things that you guys desire and want long-term are no longer the same. And so you have to make a decision if this is something that you want to continue to go along with or you want to call it quits. And before I move on to my next point, if you are enjoying content like this and videos like this, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, stay connected with your girl because it helps me create more videos like this, which y'all love. Moving on to my next point. Latoya Luckett said this about her new husband. This love feels like rest. I don't know about y'all, but there's something about a love that's slow, that's peaceful, that's restful, that is content, that isn't rushed and you just kind of like fall into that thing versus forcing it. So while this is no shade or disrespect to her previous husbands, this could be potentially the one for her. And we're all hoping and praying that it is. I personally hope that this love is going to last forever. It's not easy 
to get back up and try love again after your heart has been broken multiple times, after you've been married multiple times, after you have children, and after your marriages are in the limelight. We forget that we are very judgmental when it comes to celebrities and people in the limelight because we think that they are, you know, so much more than us or have more money or more. They're just regular human beings trying to figure out life just like you and I. So you can drag her if you want to because people have been saying, oh my gosh, she shouldn't have got married a third time. Clearly the first two haven't worked out. She's the issue, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get that part. But what about people who really do want companionship, who want partnership, who don't want to just be out here wilding out for the rest of their life and want to be committed to another person? And if she's found someone with all of her quote unquote baggage and all, marriages and all, kids and all, career and all, who still wants to love and support her, who are we to say that that shouldn't happen? One of the things that I have seen with Latoya Luckett over the last few years is I have seen growth. Again, I don't know her or any of her previous partners well. The only person that I've probably had a little bit of small conversation with is Rob Hillman Sr. Um, I love his relationship content. He's an author, he's in the same space as me. And so we have shared quick DMs back and forth because I really do enjoy his content. But outside of that, I don't know Latoya, I don't know Tommy, I don't know her kids, I don't know anybody else in that circle. So all of this is speculation or based off of what I just see on social media and videos and content. I don't know about y'all, I have seen a shift in her mannerisms, how she shows up, the way that she speaks. She's mad funny, <laughs> but I have seen some growth in her since probably her relationship with Tommy ended. She even showed up on, I believe it was the Dear Future Wifey podcast with her therapist on the episode. So I'm not sitting up here and saying that she's some saint and that she's perfect, but I am saying that she looks like she is doing the work. She's putting in that effort. She's changing. She's working on her is so she can show up to be healed and whole and to be the best woman possible for her new husband. My final thoughts and predictions on this thing is one, I think she gonna have another baby. I don't know if her new husband has any children of his own and whatever they choose to do to add to their family or not, but I think she gonna give them at least one more, okay? Mark my word, she gonna pop up pregnant like, hey y'all. <laughs> and my second thing in regards to my final thoughts is whether you have been married or married again after that, or just being in failed relationships and never being married, people are always gonna have something to say. I don't know if you guys realize this, but when you're single, people are like, well, when are you gonna start dating? When you find someone, when are you gonna get engaged? When are you gonna get married? When are you gonna have your first child? When are you gonna have your second? When are you gonna buy a house? People are never truly satisfied with where you are on your journey. So you can't live for other people. You have to live for yourself. So let Latoya Luckett, let Talio, Talio, Coles, and their children, and all of the things that they have going on in their career live their best life. If they are happy, who are we to strip away their happiness? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have thoughts about Latoya Luckett, her marriages, or if you have been in a similar situation and want to share your experience, put it in the comment section. Y'all know I love to chat with y'all in the comments about these videos and these topics. So until next time, be blessed, and I will see you soon.